Hey, what is up, everybody? Michael Crump back here again, talking about the latest and the greatest in PlayStation 4 homebrew news and much, much more. So today I have to be the bearer of bad news, and that is that Elden Ring, the PlayStation 4 disc, does require 9.03. Okay, I just heard the booing just right there. So yes, this is the same thing that we saw with Horizon Forbidden West with the PlayStation 4 physical disc being at 9.03. But there may be a little bit of hope, which we'll talk about here in just a moment. So on the official store.playstation.com site, there is this kind of little countdown that is going. It looks like, at least at the time of this recording, there's about seven hours left before the official digital release, but the physical discs have already been started to be distributed. So back over here on Twitter, we have Backport893, which is somebody that I mentioned in my Horizon Forbidden West video that has received the physical disc. And with the physical disc here, they have also confirmed that it is at 9.03. Now, if we go ahead and we switch over to the official Elden Ring account, then what you'll see here is, is that today, just a little bit ago, they released the version 1.02 of the patch. And so by doing a little bit of digging over here to orbispatches.com, we can easily see that the required firmware for both of these is at 9.03 and then again 9.03. And there's a couple of other of additions. So we'll just go in here and we'll type Elden Ring. And this time actually the search works. Here is all of the different versions of the game. So we can just take maybe the Japanese version of it. And we're sitting here at 903 and then 903 for both of these patches. Again, these patches match up to what the, the official count had said. And there is also the digital art book and the soundtrack. And these are also going to be requiring 9.03. And I'll just check the other one here. And I believe this one is for the Asia region. And this one's also at 9.03. I did a cross-reference over here to PSN releases. And they did say that the update 1.01 .01 has been released around six hours ago at the time of this recording. And then it says the game Elden Ring, digital art book and soundtrack with this title ID has been added to the PS4 Japanese PSN, which matches over to the actual release that we can go and look up right here, which is the 29999. So again, what does this mean for the PS4 homebrew community? And that is simply that there, again, isn't going to be any sort of release for Elden Ring, at least for firmwares 9.00 or earlier. Again, we cannot decrypt 9.03 or really anything higher than 9.00 at this time. So there won't be anything such as a duplex release, etc., of Elden Ring. And I keep getting asked, what type of sites do I go to to check up on the latest releases? Well, one that I spend some time with is just called predb.me. And again, this doesn't fall under any sort of copyright violations or anything like that. This is just an indexer for the different types of releases that come out for the PlayStation and then a bunch of other consoles and movies and music and so forth. But there is a little bit of good news here, and that is that if you have went ahead and bought the PlayStation 4 disc of Elden Ring, then you can play that over here on a PlayStation 5 that is running at 4.03. Again, Backport 893 released this image, and again, this is a very, very, very trusted source that I rely on and others rely on. So this 
PS4 game disc will run on a PlayStation 5 that's on 4.03. And again, keep in mind, you do not want to update your PlayStation 5 to 4.50, which is the latest version that's out. I did a video not too long ago showing some of the exploits that was available for PlayStation 5, and you do not want to update to anything higher than 4.03. And in summary, I put together this little cheat sheet here, which you may find helpful. Just to quickly go back over it, the PS4 physical disc is at 9.03. The PS5 physical disc, while it hasn't been confirmed by a reputable source just yet, it does require 4.50. So if you are wanting to play Elden Ring on your PlayStation 5 and you don't want to update that PlayStation 5 to 4.50, then you're going to need to go and get the PlayStation 4 version. The PS4 digital download is requiring 9.03. The patches through 01.02, which is the latest at the time of this recording is at 903 and then the art book and the soundtrack is also at 903 as well as the adventure guide the ps4 physical disc though is playable on the playstation 5 4.03 and if you want to play this game on your playstation 4 the only way to do that is by upgrading your system software to at least 9.03 Anyway, I hope this helps. Thank you so very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out!